Today, we're going to solve one of life's greatest mysteries, something that's plagued the minds of mankind for generations. Should we pre-soak seeds before germinating them, and what should we soak them in? I'm using seven different varieties with seven different methods to see who will be crowned the champion of germination. First up, the chamomile pre-soak. It's thought to kill off any nasty bacteria that could be lurking on your seeds. I'm making a cup of chamomile tea, letting that brew for two minutes, then making a second cup using that same tea bag, leave that one to brew for two minutes, then I'm leaving it to cool down to room temperature, popping it in a teapot for easy pouring and divvying it up between the cups. Next up, the tap water pre-soak, which is said to soften the seed coats, but also contains chlorine and fluoride and other chemicals that might not be great for our seeds. But it is free and you don't even need to leave your house to get it. Then we've got tap water's fancy cousin, bottled water. All of the seed softening, none of the nasty chemicals but kind of expensive, especially when they only have big bottles in stock. The black tea pre-soak is pretty much the same as the chamomile pre-soak, so I'm making two cups of tea with the same tea bag, letting the second one cool to room temperature and divvying it up between the cups. I'm dropping 10 seeds into each cup and leaving them to soak for eight hours. Next, we're doing a batch with no pre-soaking, so I'm spritzing some kitchen paper with water, laying out some seeds, folding it up, and popping it into a Ziploc bag. Then we're doing the same, but instead of spritzing with water, we're using some of the black pre-soak tea. And again, but this time spritzing with the chamomile pre-soak tea. Now it's time to do the same to all of our pre-soaked seeds, all 280 of them. Two weeks later and the results are in. And here's our champion, no pre-soaking. We got 100% germination rate and an average germination time of 9.2 days. The black tea and chamomile pre-soaks, they had the best average germination times of 8.8 days, but the no pre-soak method had an average germination time of 9.2 days, which isn't that far off considering the better germination rate. The most interesting thing, aside from the no pre-soaking being the winner, is the fact that all of the methods that involved pre-soaking had lower germination rates. Now that we've solved this mystery, it's time for the next one. Humidity chambers. Do they help your seeds sprout faster? Or do they just make the soil a bit fuzzy and moldy and weird looking? Let's find out. 